All right, NTL interactive. It works just fine. Let's get it open, I guess. Just using a bottom of the keyway tension wrench and a little flag. I guess you'd call it a left flag, I don't know. But it's a flag that I got from Banggood. And it kind of sucks. So just like all the other ones, you have to really work it down. To something usable. This particular multi lock has um, a bunch of spools in it. Uh, I have another one with serrated that doesn't treat me as nicely. So definitely want to be able to tackle that one soon too. Um, I also have a bunch of key and knobs. So I've um, already set everything on the outside. Um, so now I'm going for inner pins. This lock also has, um, as you'll see when I got it, it has um, key pins that have security features, which um, none of my other multi-locks have that. Um, let me try to move for a better view. I think I'm going to be blocking no matter how I go, but I try to minimize it or minimize it. Right now, I'm not feeling it any inners, which is the curse of the camera. Um, I guess that's just how it goes. And I lost full set. All right, there it's back. So I've gotten this a few times now, but the ultimate rule is you turn the camera on and you look like an idiot. So hopefully I can finish it up. I've gotten a few inners, but I don't know, something it's feeling a little weird in here. Alright, so now we're in like super false set, um, which usually just means a few more taps. However, I couldn't tell you why on this lock. Sometimes this is probably this is where it takes me the most time. Um, who knows though today? Well. How about that? I just relieved tension and it opened up. So ignore what I said before. So we'll gut it and um, see how it goes. I guess I had an overset on an inner pin. Um, I'm going to try to place this and keep everything in frame. Um, and maybe should have cleared off this area, but we'll move up and see what it looks like. All right. First, we need to take off some screws. I really hope I just locked it and not 
locked it up right there when I turned this. I should have locked it before I dealt with any of that. Oh, uh, looks like we're fine. All right, so I'm going to put a shim on this side business just so I don't do something really dumb while gutting this. All right. All right, I'm gonna dump everything first and then come back. Oh, I should have got all my tools. All right. There's everything there. This one actually holds the um, the key because the interactive element just kind of gets stuck. So, um, all right, those are all that. So, we'll go from the front and see what we have inside. All right, so we have a standard uh, driver pin, and the rest are going to be spooled. Um, I'm just kind of let them shoot out because they're all the same after this. All right, and then we have springs up in the core. All right, so as you can see, um, let me grab a few things of interest. On three and four, we have um, oh, impossible to focus spools. Let me try to. Oh well, they're uh, keeping spools, and they're all right. Um, if you do over set, you're pretty much screwed on this. And I just dropped it, but that's okay. So let's look at everything else. Um, everything else is pretty standard and fine. Um, I guess, thank you. Um, oh, just a quick note. On the insides of the key pins, we do have a little bit of counter milling and it does match the little tiny lips that you totally can't see on my driver pins. Uh, they don't pose that big of a problem. You just have to kind of give them a, a double tap and be careful of your attention. All right, thanks.